Now, all of a sudden, you have a content hub that is better than most I've seen from competitor SEOs that are trying to make it in this space. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do content hubs with AI, specifically ChatGPT. As the video goes on, we're going to get more sophisticated. I'm going to give you tips to rank higher and higher, but let's start at the start. So you need a prompt. Here's the prompt. It'll be in the description. I want to write a content hub on whatever it is. The more specific you can get here, the better. Please create a table with three columns, tier one, tier two to three, to represent content hubs to write about keywords about this subject that a consumer typically would search on the search engines, whatever. Make sure to nest, this is really important, relevant keywords under more general keywords. Do not use a keyword more than once. Let's do a content hub on places in Hawaii. Okay, let's just see what, I've never done this one. I've done other tests on like luxury vehicles, uh, but let's see what it does. This is new to me, so we're gonna learn here together. The best hikes, that's really good, I like that. Best snorkeling. That's good too. Okay. Okay. So I used to live in Hawaii. Uh, local food and drink. Poke, poke bowls, shaved ice. All right. Let's let's just ask it. Make this hub. Uh, you have to say table. Make this table better with more keywords. Now this is really amazing what it does because we can use hrefs, which we will later in this article to actually have keywords that we know have search volume behind it. It can do the same thing, but this. If you don't have hrefs and you just have a free tool like ChatGPT, this is what you can do. And you can make really, really powerful uh, articles this way. So I'll show you what I'll do after this. Let it let it do its thing. Hawaii, best places to visit. These are the islands. Oahu, uh, Honolulu is the city, Waikiki. Uh, we could actually branch that down into tier four because Honolulu, Waikiki, North Shore, Diamond Head are under Oahu. Interesting. So... Why don't we try it? Why don't we try it? Rewrite table into four uh, columns, making sure to continue to nest. Let's just see what happens. This is off the cuff. Oahu. Good. That's really good. We lived in uh, Hilo, Hilo, Hawaii, big island. This is perfect so far. I have a travel website. Let's pretend I want to write about Hawaii. How do you go about it? Well, this is how, right? And you could, before I get ahead of myself, let's just let it finish. Kauai, awesome places to visit. Uh, Big Island, Akaka Falls, Parker Ranch. These are all places real. Everything looks legit here, right? So let's just let it do its thing. Go, go, go. Okay, cool. Now let's grab it. Tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Grab it. Let's go to the spreadsheets. Boom. This right here, you could link to your articles. So what I do is I create a Google... Um, I create Google Doc folders, more or less, and I link my Honolulu uh, places to visit Oahu. They're all folders and articles that we edit, then push live. This is how you keep track of your content and build content hubs. This article links to this article. This article also links to this article. They, they, how do I put this? North Shore should link to Waikiki as well as Diamond Head, as well as Oahu as well as places to visit. It all is interconnected. Watch a video on how to create a content hub. This is a tool to help you do it. So now we're in Ahrefs. I told you we would get more sophisticated and that's what we're gonna do. These are real keywords sorted by volume. So I have places, Hawaii, right? It's gonna have places as well as Hawaii in the search result. Altogether, there's 78,000 people talking about Hawaii, places in Hawaii every month. We export this, let's grab the first uh, let's say 200. Let's see if ChatGPT can handle 200. We export it. We get it. We grab all of these. Let's go back to ChatGPT. Now I'm going to start a new chat. Boom. Let's start a new chat. Let's paste this in here. This is all the keywords we just got. So I told you this is a little bit more sophisticated. Hopefully I just didn't delete it. I probably did. Maybe not. I'm trying to get this. Darn. All right. So I need to do this. I need to open this, I need to copy this, boom. All right, we need to revise this a bit. Now I have the revised prompt too. So we have all the keywords here. We have our original prompt. I wanna write a content hub uh, using the keywords below. Uh, same thing, let's just see what it does. All right, so it wasn't too many words that it couldn't handle it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
So far, not good. Places in Maui, not good at all. How are we going to make this better? I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's stop this. This is terrible. Let's go back to hrefs and let's sort by... Let's do zero volume keywords. This can be super uh, helpful for new websites. Let's grab these. These are things that have zero volume according to hrefs, meaning that not many people type them in, but we know that they can drive traffic. So let's try again. Okay, off to the races. Let's cross our fingers. There we go. Cool. Now I get to de demonstrate how the tool works in Excel 2, or Google Sheets rather. Let's let this render. Do you see how it's, it's clumping all these into uh, commas? Well, this is going to be awesome. This is so good. This is so, so good. Let's let it finish this thing. Places to stay in Hawaii, places to eat, places to snorkel, camp. These are, imagine if you had a travel website and you literally wrote all of these articles and you interlink them all perfectly. You're going to be somewhat successful. So let's jump back to our, let's do a new spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to change the screen a bit. There we go. Push these here. All right, what's the problem? The problem is this looks terrible. How do we fix it? And it's with that tool I was showing you earlier. So we're going to go to Exten Extensions, Power Tools, Start. Wait for it. First thing we do, split. Second thing we do, so let's back up. Splits here. It can do all these things, right? But for this purpose, we're highlighting the, the column C, number two. It has all these things up here. They're all separated by columns, right? We need to break them out to make it look pretty so we can actually work this thing. So we're going to split text. We're going to split values by characters. Let me move my big head out of the way. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. We're going to split by commas because ChatGPT used commas. But here's the key. We want to split values to rows. Let's do it. Click the button. Boom. Let's do it. Click the button again on this one. <laughs> Boom. Let's do it and click the button on this one. Now, all of a sudden, you have a content hub that is better than most I've seen from competitor SEOs that are trying to make it in this space. Here is approximately 34, 35 articles you could write. Altogether, my goodness, we put, what, 200 keywords in here? They're going to be duplicates. You're going to have to make sure you're not cannibalizing your content. But this is absolutely insane. This is based upon hrefs. I told you we get more sophisticated. We're using hrefs keywords. We're having ChatGPT push it to content hubs. We're good. We're pretty much there. We're ready to write. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe. I have a crazy video where I'm writing a thousand blog posts in 2023. Check that one out. Um, and I also have internal blog writing tools, AI, that eventually will be released to the public. We're not sure how we're going to do it, but check out that video too. Subscribe, and there'll be more and more. All right, see you. Bye.